Hey, 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 oh, yeah, oh, yeah. So, fugitive of the Jadoon. Um. Whew. Hello Whovians, Crispy Bro here, welcome back to my channel, thanks for sticking around, thanks for coming on over and, and watching this, this nonsense. I hope you're all having a good day, um, I know I am because of this episode, I think. Subscribe to this channel if you like indecisiveness. But yeah, today we are talking about episode 5 of series 12. Fugitive of the Jadoon, and my oh my, what an episode it was. I apologize for not uploading another video this week. Uh, we had the Australia Day long weekend, and that was a uh, weekend that we celebrate here in Australia. Um, and I definitely did not drink, because I am a role model. But since I did not upload another video this week, um, this video should be extra long-ish, so you can get your crispy content for the week. But enough bloody chit chat, let's talk about the episode at hand. So Crispy, what were your overall thoughts? So after Spyfall parts 1 and 2, I thought this series wasn't going to have that many surprises along the way. I thought the Master returning and, and Gallifrey being destroyed were, were like the big pivotal points that were going to last throughout the series. But no, I was unbelievably wrong. But to try and give my like overall thoughts, I, I think, I think I really did like it, but there was just so much stuff that happened. Spoiler alert if you have not seen it, even though I am definitely putting it in my thumbnail because by the time I post this video it should be almost 24 hours since the episode because I live in Australia. But Captain Jack is back. That's whack. <laughs> I'll go into that in just a second, but... Uh, Speechless. Literally speechless. The fact that he was in the episode definitely, definitely made um, this whole episode better for me. But yeah, as a whole, this episode was very, very intriguing. It sets up a lot of stuff that I hope to God pays off. But if it wasn't for all the, like, extra stuff that happened in this episode, I think it would have been, like, a fairly average episode of Doctor Who. Like, a fairly stock standard. Um, but yeah. I really liked it. It was too much to handle. But I really liked it. So, what was new during this episode, Crispy? What is new, you ask? Well, we have we have another Doctor, apparently. Apparently that's a thing now. That's canon. Um, uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. If someone asked me what I thought the plot was going to be before going into this, I would have been like, oh, it's just, uh, you know, the Jadoon uh, going to Earth looking for this fugitive, and it's very bad, and the Doctor comes in and saves the day. But instead, we got, oh, hey, Captain Jack's back, and we got a new Doctor. Oh. Oh, I would have lost so much money if I made a bet on what the plot of this episode was. In the 50 minutes that this episode was on, my face did a ridiculous amount of expressions. I was all like, Oh! Ah. <laughs> huh? Oh! Hmm? Oh! <laughs> wow! This new Doctor though, played by Jo Martin, I believe her name is, um, absolutely shook me. 1000% uh, thou did not see this coming. Um, I've seen the theory online that uh, she is actually like, before, like the first, first... Oh, uh, <coughs> Sorry, this episode's made me lose words. <coughs> I saw the theory that um, this Doctor was like in between um, the second and the third Doctor or that this was the very first Doctor before Hartnell. I don't know. I don't know what I believe right now. Um, if that is the case, I'd be kind of like, and Chris Chibnall's like changing a lot. Um, so I think I'm going to make like a theory video because I've seen a lot of good theories out there. Um, so yeah, I will be making a theory video this week. I, I'm gonna make that promise to you now, so I have to commit. But yeah, what else was new? Um, the, the Jadoon were there. They're not new, um, but we haven't seen them in Yonkers. Uh, we haven't seen them since the Sarah Jane adventures, I think. And, and they were with some Time Lord lady that shot herself accidentally. Mmm. I kind of forgot that part of the episode, but cool. What was your favorite scene? Jack's introduction back into the show is something that just simply cannot be beaten. That was phenomenal and everything I wanted. The, um, Graham and Jack, uh, wow. Wowza. I'm really glad that the companions were the ones that met Jack for the first time. It was interesting to see that play out. Um, but hopefully, hopefully this is just building up to Captain Jack's return later when we know we're going to see that 13 and Captain Jack, um, reintroduction. That's going to be, 
that's gonna be some television and I'm not ready. Well, I am ready, give it to me. And Jack mentioned something about this lone Cyberman that's very, very, very deadly. So will that, will that be the finale? We're gonna have this creepy ass Cyberman with Captain Jack and the master back. Oh my gosh, it could, that could be huge. That could be huge. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure it's a two part finale. So anything could happen. Any of the companions could go. I'm looking at you. T Toss and Cole. What was your favorite quote of the episode? Jadoon Platoon, Nira Lagoon. Phenomenal. A plus. Well done. Can I just say that I am genuinely enjoying Jodie Whittaker's performance so, so much more this season than I did Series 11. We have seen um, her comedic ability um, come through a lot more, and we've seen the serious side to Jodie that I knew she had from Broad Church. From Broad Church? From Broad Church. Um, finally coming to Doctor Who, which is good. Were there any flaws within this episode? This episode was only 50 minutes long, and it could have so easily been a two-parter, and I'm surprised with the amount of stuff that happened that it wasn't a two-parter, because it was just bang, 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 bang. It was a non-stop roller coaster, a fun non-stop roller coaster, but I mean, if oh, it's it was it was intense. I feel like if it was a two-parter, they could have fleshed out their ideas a bit more, given you know more time to Captain Jack. <sighs> and they also could have set up like more of a mystery about this new Doctor. But I'm still surprised at the amount of stuff they managed to achieve in 50 minutes. Um, what else? I really genuinely wanted. Yaz to have a big part of this episode when when I heard the Jadoon were coming back because I was like, oh, Yaz is a police woman. Surely, she, you know, she'll talk about stuff with the Jadoon being like, hey, this is how we do things on Earth. Maybe you guys should listen to that and maybe they'll be like, oh, this is how we do things back home. But no, Yaz, Yaz didn't really, Yaz once again didn't do much in an episode of Doctor Who. Surely they're getting rid of some companions at the end of this season, right? Right? I don't know. I don't know. Were there any moments that made you go, what? Obviously, this new Doctor, wow. And Captain Jack, wow, wow. But I genuinely enjoyed the, the speech at the end of the episode that the companions gave to the Doctor. Well, it was mainly Ryan talking, but um, that, was, that was beautiful. I haven't really felt the same connection to these companions than I did, say, with like maybe like Amy and Rory and maybe Donna. Um, but I feel like you know, this type of development for these characters will make it hurt when they probably leave in the finale as I just touched on before. Did I cry during this episode? The definition of cry is um, shed tears, typically as an expression of distress, pain or sorrow. Um, when I heard Captain Jack's voice um, come back, I think I technically did cry. That was an experience, that was my childhood and I'm glad that he's back after 10 years. So Crispy, what were your overall thoughts? The Fugitive of the Jadoon was ambitious as hell and was probably the most Doctor who -y episode of the Jodie Whittaker run so far and I'm all for that. The main story itself was okay but it was really boosted by the intrigue of this new Doctor and the return of my home slice, Captain Jack Harkness. So I will give the Jadoon, what is it called? The, oh, damn it, I just said it, the Fugitive of the the Fugitive of the Jadoon, a 8.5 out of 10. Well done, folks. Good on you. But hey, that was just my opinion. Please leave yours down in the comments below. I'll read them all. I'll give them that little heart thingy. Um, and yeah, I'm really intrigued to see what you guys think about this one because it was a huge episode. I feel like it's kind of hit or miss. I asked you guys on Twitter this morning at CrispyPro, if you want to follow me, um, what you guys thought of the episode and I got some pretty cool responses. So let's read them out right now, hey? The ideas aren't exactly original. Bit of Smith and Jones, bit of 11th Hour, bit of Utopia, bit of The Next Doctor, but they're being remixed in fun ways and I'm on board. Well then, Council of Geeks, that was that was a bloody good observation. That's probably why you have more subscribers than me. You should definitely subscribe to Council of Geeks. And me, but mainly Council of Geeks. Beyond confused, but I think I loved it? So many twists and turns. Wish we saw more of Jack, but that ending for him must mean that we're gonna see more of him by the end of the series. Fingers crossed this means more torture is on the cards. Oh, Dan. Dan, my man. Don't play me like that. Don't say things like that. Don't get my hopes up. Well, it sure as hell made me want to watch next week's. 
Next week's does look interesting, but I kind of think that next week won't focus um, a lot on the overall series plot, much like Orphan 55 did after Spyfall Part 2. Um, but I think we might have to wait until the finale for things to like really actually kick in. Or maybe just the episode before the finale. Surely that ends on a cliffhanger. I don't know, I'm just kind of speaking out of my ass right now. Wow, there is so much to digest, and this is only the start of the story. So many questions, so many possibilities. I'm going to refrain from judgment for now, but I really enjoyed it. Hashtag Doctor Who. Um, yeah, this episode could age rather badly if this whole new Doctor thing doesn't pan out. Um, but yeah, fingers crossed. Jack is back, Jack is back, Jack is back, Jack is back, Jack is back. I liked it, 7 out of 10. And that's it, that's the end of the video. That's, that's the whole dang thing. Thank you very much for watching and making it this far. You are awesome. Have this... Um, something. I'm editing in something. It's yours now. I will be making a, a next Doctor or a new Doctor video at some point this week, so subscribe to this channel if you want to see that. You, you honestly don't want to miss out on it. You don't want to be one of those kids that are like, ah, oh, damn, I didn't see Crispy Pro's new video. Yeah, um, thank you once again for watching. Please like this video. Please subscribe if you have not already, and I'll see you very, 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 very shortly. Have an awesome day. Hello, Zeke!